far, we've only been playing single notes. That is, you're picking one string and fretting it or playing it open. Um, but you can play chords, and all you have to do is just play multiple strings. And uh, we'll go through that slowly, but I kind of want to show you what to do with your picking hand. So when you're picking chords, instead of just picking a single string like we've done so far, you really want to follow through with your hand and pick those several strings at as close to it the same time as possible. So, like that. You don't want to flam them like this. You want to play uh, kind of in a burst of speed. And for that example, I'm only playing the bottom three strings. Um, one thing I've seen with a lot of beginning students is even though they're intending to just play those three strings, they might, you know, hit more. So be really conscious of where you're starting your downward motion for that strum. All right, so this is chord study number one, and it will get you used to playing the open E string and open B string together. So you're playing a few notes that you're already familiar with, and then when you, it comes to that point where you're playing those strings together, Make sure to hit them as close to at the same time as possible. Here we go. One, two, three. All right, moving on to chord study number two. So here you're going to combine the single notes that you've learned um, with the three strings strummed open. So when you're doing that, make sure to just keep your wrist relaxed and follow through in a somewhat explosive downward motion so that you hit the three strings as close at the same time as possible. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. 